Greetings, Saber X. Anonymous here. Uh, something that's come up, it's come up a couple times in camp as we're uh, teaching the kids here, and um, it comes up on the uh, web a whole lot, is um, looking at the different seven forms and how we're kind of approaching it. And I've gone over this a couple of times um, in some of the live show. I'll put it here in a nice little encapsulated uh, form. Um, the way we're looking at stuff is everything is kind of a progression. Um, we don't really subscribe to the whole uh, paper, rock, scissors approach to the forms, meaning uh, this form, while could be in a response to this form, does not automatically trump, as in a video game or D&D, &D. Uh, they don't cancel each other out. Um, basically, the ability of the swordsman, the ability of the fighter is what's really, really important. And uh, that's what you want to kind of concentrate on. So if we look at these seven forms, um, they kind of mirror that idea, at least from where we're coming from, from the person, from the train, person who is training the system. Um, the first one, Shicho, being your foundation, right? Your basic footwork, your basic mechanics, your basic strikes, all of that kind of stuff. You get that under your belt, you move on into the next three of what we call our, our pillars which are the first four forms, which operate as a good bedrock of technique. Um, <clears throat> Makashi is our form that looks at the interaction between weapon to weapon. It's focused pretty much on single combat and expanding what you've learned in Shicho. Uh, Seresu is mainly defensive. It's where we kind of look at defensive techniques, defensive strategies. That doesn't mean that it only defends. It doesn't mean that you're going to try to drag the fight on to ridiculous amounts until the other person just gets tired and gives up. It is simply a way of studying how to defend and then what to do with those defenses and the opportunities that arise. Um, Atari, kind of the opposite. It's the attack. It's learning how to develop power, mechanics, um, an eye for when people are going to launch legitimate attacks, feints, or, or, or what have you, and then trying to read the other person through their body and through their physicality, just like you're trying to train it through your physicality. When we get into Form 5, Shen and Jem So, we're starting to get into the synthesis of all of those four forms, combining them in different ways to come up with different strategies, which are going to give you lots of the more kind of advanced techniques that you're used to seeing with with swordplay videos and, and all that kind of thing. So, so far we've just been kind of laying the, laying the foundation. Um, once you get into Niman, Niman is a balancing and a harmonization of all of the skills that have come before. Right? So it's hard to say that you can study Niman without studying other things, at least in our system. This is just the way we're setting it up. Um, <clears throat> and then Juyo is kind of transcending that. It's far more philosophical far more um, thought process oriented rather than technique oriented. Um, so that's kind of the basics of how it goes and we are going to be coming out with a system pretty soon hopefully uh, that will help people kind of keep track of where they are in a system of development or anything like that. But you can also look at this as analogous, analogous to other systems that are out there. We're not saying we're the only ones. We're not saying that this is the best way to do it. We're just saying this is the way we do it for our purposes, um, where we're trying to get lots of people from different backgrounds to, to contribute to the same thing. We found that this way is very good because it, it doesn't marry yourself to any one, one thing. So that's just kind of an outline of our seven forms, just a little bit, just to give you a, a, a a little clue in as uh, where we're going to go with this. Hopefully that will come become clear as we start putting out the Shen and the Form 5 stuff and maybe having some more discussions on the deeper meanings in Niman and Juyo and Valpa, however you want to, to call it. Anyway, so uh, just a little shout out to everybody for, uh, for that. Um, until next time, have a great day. Happy Saber!